going to read out some behind the scenes information today associated with the classic Doctor Who serial, The Mind Robber. Working titles for this story were The Fact of Fiction and Manpower, also sometimes referred to as Manpower. The existing scripts for episodes 1, 2, and 3 are titled Manpower, Another World, and The Fact of Fiction, fiction respectively, even though individual episode titles were by this time no longer being used, Season 3's four-part story, The Gunfighters, being the last to feature them. Radio Times credits Bernard Horsefall as a stranger for episodes 2 and 3, and as Gulliver for episodes 4 and 5. On-screen credits read as stranger for episode 2 and Gulliver for episodes 3 to 5. Christopher and David Reynolds' surname is spelt as... Reynolds for episode 2 and Reynolds, N A L D S, in episode 5 and for both episodes in Radio Times. The correct spelling remains uncertain. Philip Ryan, a red coat, is credited on screen for episode 3 but is uncredited in Radio Times. This trivia is not that interesting so far. Hamish Wilson, of course, played Jamie in episodes 2 and 3 when Fraser Hines contracted chicken pox from his nephews. And that's why there's this brief little plot about Jamie's face being different because the Doctor couldn't remember it well enough in his head. Episode 1 is the only episode in the series history to have no writer's credit, either on screen or in radio times. Oh, that's bizarre. This story was planned as a four-part serial, but was increased to five after the previous adventure, The Dominators, was reduced from six to five episodes. Interesting. As a result, the first four episodes were only between 19 and 22 minutes in length, and episode five was the shortest Doctor Who episode ever at just over 18 minutes. Interesting. Yeah. For this to happen, the first episode was cobbled together by the production team, making Peter Ling very unhappy. Poor Jamie is played by Hamish Wilson, gets turned into a cutout for the second time. He shouts, Craig and Turk. Fraser Hines joked on the DVD commentary, but this is Scottish Gaelic for vodka and tonic. However, it is actually the motto of the McLaren clan of Scotland, meaning the Boar's Rock. These are also Jamie's last words in his, re in his last regular serial, The War Games, as he charges an English redcoat on the fields of Scotland. The white robots that close in on Jamie and Zoe in the void outside of TARDIS were previously used in an episode of the science fiction television series Out of the Unknown, The Prophet, originally transmitted on BBC Two on the 1st of January 1967, and which no longer exists in the BBC archives. They were also used in the BBC Two 30-minute theatre production The Metal Martyr, which aired on the 27th of December 1967 and was repeated on the 28th of August 1968, the second broadcast being just 17 days before the first episode of The Mind Robber aired. As with The Prophet, this program no longer exists in the BBC archives either. The character Gulliver speaks only lines written for him by Jonathan Swift in Gulliver's Travels. This was Derek Sherwin's idea. I think we'll close it here and continue in episode 3. Thanks again everyone, appreciate it very immensely. Thank you.